Hello everyone, Basif here, and welcome back to the stream. Sorry, we're off to a little of a late start here. Uh, I'm just trying to get some stuff prepped for a charity stream that we have coming up. That is going to be on May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Uh, we're going to be doing Animal Rescue Charity Stream. All the details can be found across the various socials that I've been posting on. Uh, more information can be found in the Discord. Be sure to check that out. All the donations are going to be going to Rescued Pets Movement, which is a foster organization that I uh, volunteered for for many years. I'm super excited to be able to support them, and uh, it's going to be great fun. But uh, we are here to be playing some Life is Strange at the moment, which uh, I don't have started up yet, so let's get that going. Uh, we got... Oh, look, Mamas is here. She decided to uh, show up, I guess. Uh, they've been hanging out upstairs. Jada has messed up her paw really bad. That's not your name, you goof bucket. Um, Jada's chomped out like she must have got allergies on her paw and she like chewed off up her wrist and there you go up her wrist and like down into her paw so it's all sensitive and i wrapped it in gauze and anti-itch stuff and healing stuff and all that good stuff and then put a sock on it and then wrapped it like a tape around it and i came home from work today and it's like half pulled off so it was like sitting on the wound I was like, oh, you dummy dog. That's got to hurt more. So I had to take it off and I have to let it breathe. And then I'm going to have to clean it again tonight before bed. Goofy dog. But let's play some Life is Strange, my friends. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm sure I am. I always do forget something when I start stream a little late by accident. But I guess we'll figure it out. I can't skip this? Are you serious? Oh, right. Right. Everything's on fire. Okie dokie. Brave new world, huh? Start. Let's go. Right, we left off with lighting this whole area on fire. That's fun. That's fun. Hmm. Hmm. It's a problem. Ugh. Neck is not popping. Sabrina, how's it going? Yes, there's a mom and she's making a rare appearance. Oh, hi. That's your name. Yes, that's your name. Goof Nugget. Sabrina says hello. Previously on Life is Strange Before the My Storm. Headphones are picking up. I can't believe like Fire other Lock sounds. Is playing a show at the old mill. I'm going to teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead. Get the fuck out of here. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join she me probably is. on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really Yeah, we just started. How's it going, Birch? That we saw under this tree with that woman. Yeah, we're kind of scrambled. Dad. Started a little late. I'm stream trying to get stuff set up. See, there's the whooshy and things. That woman was definitely not my mom. There's something there. There's something with the whooshes. Principal jerk face. He has a raven. Don't trust him. Am I supposed to skip something here? No. Completely silent. Oh yeah, they Ms. caught Price, us already. How Me. good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then we're just sorry. Don't judge me. Let us proceed. 
One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Jerk. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. <laughs> I pretty sure it's his win? No way. Rachel I Amber, think it's significant. And then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, no. What? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Is this rhetorical? Don't screw up. Uh, don't get in trouble again. Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your <laughs> attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Preston. Fuck that, I saved him. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking yeah, to Mom. Drew instead of me. You know. The guy who actually did what you're accusing me of? Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Sensitivity. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Oh, I don't like this guy. Convenient. Oh, lurk away, Sabrina. Uh, reassure mom. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. Hell yeah, mom's on I'm her sorry side. You feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means you forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have uh -oh. no Rachel's going to stand up. What? Uh, what? what? Rachel, my heart. What? Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this, but I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. Ha! <laughs> Chloe, sorry you got you're not helping your situation. Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? <sighs> I don't know how to respond to this. She's trying to get me out of it. For what? For what? You didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me, even now, is truly inspiring. Chloe, is this true? Shit. It's true. Shit. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss <laughs> Price. Oh, so I was thinking about this today, actually, um, in real life, because uh, yesterday's events, you know, when we saved uh, Nathan, right? Even though he's a straight dick and I hate him with every fiber of my being, there's still that part of me that's like, this isn't right. He's being bullied. That's not cool. I have to stand up for me. That's how I am in real life. It's stupid. Well, I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt. You could be stupid in some eyes. It's not stupid in other eyes. Whatever. It's it's a just thing, in my opinion. Anyway, so that made me think, because then the RPG game came up, the D&D &D session they had, 
and it made me think um what is that is that chaotic good that's not lawful good right i think that's a chaotic good alignment am i a chaotic good alignment i don't want to be a chaotic good i want to be chaotic neutral that's that's the fun alignment shit i forgot what happened again it always happens she asked mrs price is this true oh he asked me not mom yeah fine fine yes it was her idea but it's not like she kidnapped me we were in it together yeah that is what happened miss amber based on what you've just told me i have grounds to punish you are you sure what you've told me is the truth yes this Parents can't are gonna be say the something. full story rachel ray just to be clear miss amber you're sure chloe price didn't coerce you or coerce her I'm you're putting words in her mouth to, get to the bottom of why someone like rachel oh i think we're clear yeah fuck off wells someone like rachel but not my daughter excuse me yeah you know what i'm you mom's have a saying list of students you assume the worst about yeah, i'm gonna enjoy the show you have no get him mom to sick him this, this is because she's on financial aid isn't it let's all just calm down you're stirring this pot everything we she's been through in the last two years you should be ashamed of it's yourself. got good all right miss price mrs price mrs price i appreciate your position but i assure you it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today i understand mr wells there is no doubt that chloe's behavior must improve but given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under i hope you will allow her just one more chance miss amber i am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you oh, will no darn. longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. What? No. That was fucked. The performances tonight. Yeah, what are you insane? What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. you think? Mr. Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to oh, run. Oh, she. The you see, she pulled office. away. That. Please yeah, her don't dad. Don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances accidental and deliberate i'm sure your understudy shit victoria chase oh yes, i'm sure victoria chase will do fine mm. that is such... what was that miss price chloe is upset for her friend but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened there is plenty of blame to go around chloe's future at blackwell will be discussed next Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. <sighs> oh shit, these are timed, aren't they? I'm gonna take the blame. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Choose gay black talk. Listen to your opponent and choose. Oh shit. I'm gonna fuck it up. I'm gonna make it worse. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Uh-oh, I'm gonna really piss her off. Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Shit. You should confess. Wells, you should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. 
No. Uh, I don't like it. You don't tell me what to do. We're not friends. You do you. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Oh, I'm gonna make it worse. I'm making all the bad decisions. I shouldn't have dragged Rachel. Sorry for making you look bad. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing- Oh shit, I thought it was to Rachel. Security. This must be very embarrassing for you. Oh, that was the wrong one. I've heard enough. Rachel, uh, you were clearly trying to cover for your class. Shit. I, appreciate I thought that was going to be directed at Rachel. More. Oh. Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that oh, no. so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. Oh no. And now? You are expelled. Oh. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. I missed a... oh. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Oh, she's gonna be mad at me. Come on, Chloe. Oh, she's gonna be mad at me. Take his bird. Oh, this is already bad, guys! Ugh! I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Yeah! Oh, she's not mad at me. At least not right I now. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Don't you Price. dare say I'm anything stuck-up stuff to me. James. I'm sorry we had to meet like Alright, at least they're kind. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. At least they're nice to me. That was one way it could go? Yeah. Mom, mm. I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck em. Only when she gets her beanie. Bunch of fascists. Yeah, I like the security guard. He cool. He let hey, me listen to his music. Uh, just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. Nah. I don't really care about any I'm, of this shit. I'm taking Except a wild guess right now. Stash. I get, I bet you I get the well beanie from Rachel. Because she never lets that go in the second one. Alright, you're gonna look at this picture of this photo, or this cat. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Except Dad, fur baby, he, he angry. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Gotta read that. Chloe, I need to start seeing more effort from you, or you're going to fail my class. The quality of your work lately simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you can be better than this. Okay, that one's going in the trash. That's cool. I could individually choose what I'm throwing out. Uh, I'm going to keep the cat. Mr. Fluffers. What's that? Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Signature. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Oh, neat. Yeah, we're totally signing our name. Chloe the Awesome. Almost. Oh. <laughs> Doodle. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few.